We've come to the end of another Batman series. <laughs> Alfred, get the Kleenex. <laughs> What is going on, YouTube Universe? This is our God Zero. We are back with more Batman Arkham City. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to join me for another episode. Get comfortable, because this might well and truly be the end of the series. I, uh, we've Hello, taken the Joker down. Batman. You can hear me, right? It's just. But it looks like the final showdown is about to go down. Before our adventure continues, it's time to talk about today's sponsor. How funny would it be if I shaved a like button down there? That'd be hilarious. Oh, I didn't see that. Sorry. I was having a little bit of a read. Today's video is proudly sponsored by Manscaped, the world's leader in down there grooming and creator of precision engineered tools for your family jewels. And speaking of tools, ladies and gentlemen, the Performance Package 4.0 is an absolute game changer. Just let me take some time to run through what you're gonna get in that package. And I'm not talking about my package, I'm talking about the package. First off, ladies and gentlemen, the Lawn Mower 4.0, the future of grooming, and dare I say, the best ball shaver ever. Now boys, how many times have you tried to fix up down there and uh, it's ended up like a scene straight out of a horror film? <laughs> Never fear, the lawnmower is here. Their fourth generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. It's waterproof and also has a 400K LED spotlight to help you get a more precise shave. And because this trimmer is waterproof, you can say goodbye to leaving a dirty mess on your bathroom floor. Even comes with a portable charger powered by USB cable so you can keep the motor running wherever you go. Now mowing the garden is all fine and dandy but if you want to maintain the garden a little bit better sometimes you need to get in for those fine edges and ladies and gentlemen Manscaped have you covered with the Weed Whacker. The Weed Whacker is a nose and ear hair trimmer. It's waterproof and also provides proprietary skin safe technology which helps reduce nicks snags and tugs in those delicate nose holes. Not only that, but their Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Ball Toner will change the way you approach your hygiene routine. Now Manscaped even threw in two free gifts to the Performance Package 4.0, the first of which is their Shed Travel Bag, a beautiful leather bag that fits all your goodies, all your knickknacks, and it helps you take all your Manscaped goodies wherever you go, on the go. And maybe the best of all, especially for myself and all the other plus size men out there, the Manscaped Boxes. These are a game changer, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a big man like myself and chafing is a little bit of something you have to deal with, these anti-chafing briefs are so, so good. And they just, oh. It feels like a warm blanket. It is just so good. It, it even smells fresh. It, it smells fresh, ladies and gentlemen. You, I'm being serious. You, you tuck your bad boys away in these and they'll be thanking you for a lifetime. Whatever the occasion, it is time for you to start taking care of yourself. Head on over to manscaped.com and use the discount code ZERO when checking out for 20% off your order plus free international shipping. That's manscaped.com with the discount code ZIRA, Z-I-R-R-A, for 20% off and free international shipping. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Yes! Fuck off! Yes! Okay. We can head on in. Now, we're close to finishing the main story. It could be this episode. Could be. could be one more episode. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's going to be this one. But, 
We've got Harley Quinn DLC we can still do, and we can do some missions as Harley herself, so I'm thinking maybe we could do that, maybe? Hurry up and take your seat, Batman. The show's about to begin. Let's just talk about this. <laughs> now you want to talk. Too late, Batman. Give me the cure! But you've already got the cure. Talia, no! <laughs> got him! Problem solved. Or does she? You didn't need to. Why? You would never do it. You left me no choice. There's always a choice. I had to save you. Harley Quinn stole it for him. I took it back. It's over. Surprise! <laughs> oh, Mr. J, you look perfect. Ring, ring. So how do you keep a secret from the world's greatest detective? Well, do you know? You stick it right in front of him, right under his long, pointy nose. And wait! Joker wants you to think he's sick. Then wait! Gotcha! You fell for the old fake Joker gag, Batman! Yep. Tell you! Oh. I'm sorry, beloved. I didn't know. <laughs> and Tali is dead? More! Bravo! <laughs> There's the real Joker. It was never you. <laughs> Not always. Well, sometimes. <laughs> Uh, confusing, isn't it? I know I'd want to know just what the hell is going on if I were you. <laughs> Let's just say, at times like these, it's important to keep up. <coughs> Mark Hamill as the Joker is so brilliant. But first, if you would be so kind, hand over my jaw. He's revealing himself. Clayface, ladies and gentlemen. Standing in for yours truly. I'm doing a damn fine job of it. I give you Clayface. You weren't even supposed to be in here, Carl. Why sign up with Joker? The role of a lifetime! One last chance. Oh, night, not that! The final act's just starting. It's a doozy. Let's do this! You bastard. Me, you meatball. To be playing with me? What the hell are you doing, Pat? <laughs> Don't just stand around! Spitting poop everywhere, you dirty fuck! <laughs> the terror! I 
I love how both of the Batman games so far have ended with like a giant physical giant as the final boss. It was Joker as a tyrant in the uh, in the first one. This time it's Clayface mimicking Joker. You bastard. Keep your poo. No. What are you doing? Give me that sword. Making me late for my spa treatment. Am I? I mean, it's not like you've got a girl to save anymore, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh you bastard. Too soon. Too Would fucking a soon. Change of scenery help ease the pain? Right. Oh. The Lazarus Pit. Got him? <laughs> I'm inside you! Ta-da! Sit. Thank you. Oh, the colors Get just come straight back way, to my Max. face. I've got a date with immortality. No, no, no. I don't think the Lazarus Pit's going to be able to get used anytime soon. Quick! The cure! What 
What are you waiting for? Come on! Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't I you? Killed your girlfriend. Poison Gotham in hell. <laughs> it's not even breakfast. Fuck him. But so what? We all know you'll save me. Every decision you've ever made ends with death and misery. People die. I stop you. You'll just break out and do it again. <laughs> Think of it as a running gun. Oh! No! There goes your cure, you fucking idiot. Are you happy now? Do you want to know something funny? Even after everything you've done, I would have saved you. <laughs> that actually is pretty funny. And that is the end of the Joker as we know it. For now. For now. Because the Joker does still play an integral part in Batman Arkham Knight. But I remember playing this the very first time, and I'm a huge Joker fan. And just seeing, like, this thing here, Joker the Immortal, and then Batman comes out carrying a dead Joker. Harley seeing it. You know, it's it's a sight you think you'd never see. All units coordinate. What the? What the hell happened in there? You don't want to know, Commissioner. Batman! What happened? Time to get my things and quit this damn town for good. Okay, let's do it. Batman's already walked off into the uh, proverbial sunset. Time for Selena to do the same. Playing these games again has only hyped up my desire to play Gotham Knights so much more. And I'm still not sold on who I'm going to play as in Gotham Knights yet. Because all four characters are great. Home Let's get in there. Home. If you thought it was going to be that easy, ladies and gentlemen, you silly. Because we've still got some unfinished two she uh two-faced business. Yeah, hang on. She's waking up. Damn it. What are we gonna do? Kill her again. Hey, you're about to get fucked up, that's what you're gonna do. Oh, oh. Where are my things? Tell me, or I'll slice you apart, piece by piece. Two faces got him. He's at the museum. Okay. Thanks. Good night, asshole. So you decided to come crawling back, Van Harve. Pity. Oh well. Time for this kitten to teach you some manners, once and for all. Yep, museum's this way. Let's go.
For those of you who are unfamiliar, Gotham Knights is set in a uh, set in a universe where Batman is dead, and we have to play as Batman's um, little entourage. So, Robin, Batgirl, uh, Nightwing, Red Hood, and Mr. Freeze and Penguin, I'm pretty sure, are the two main villains in that in that game, and man, I'm just so keen to play it. I am dying to play it. Playing this again has also reminded me of the fact that the Arkham Batman series is still, to me, the pinnacle of uh, superhero video games. Um, obviously, Spider-Man was able to derive so much from this, I feel. Um, especially with, like, uh, some of the detective mode kind of stuff and the stealth-based gameplay and... But definitely, I feel this sets the standard. What the hell is she doing here? Oh, you'll find out in a minute. Good night, asshole. What's she doing here? Again, you'll find out in a minute. Down, baby. Hello, Harvey. Let me in. Hello. Let's not forget, good old Penguin was uh, captured in here last time we were here. So it'll be interesting to see if Penguin is still around. Hello, Mr. T Rex. Right. Yeah. You see all that gear he had with him? Must have been from the cat. He sent Paulie B over to blow that bitch's secret hideout sky high. Look out! It's the cat. Nice try, ass hat. Hello, Penguin. What the hell are you supposed to be? Piss off. Really? Okay, if you insist. Oh, I forgot to say, speak to me like that again, Penguin, and I'll show you just what it feels like for a poor little bird to be torn apart by a cat. Sorry. Please, don't hurt me. My eyes were wandering. I didn't mean it. New recruits this way. He looked pretty pleased with himself, didn't he? Yeah. Don't think I've ever seen the boss so happy. Into the pit we go. Maybe. Look out! It's the cat! Get him, Selena. Fuck off. Meow. How deep do you think it is? Deep enough to hold one big ass shark. Still can't believe Penguin's got a shark in here. What's she doing here? Get him, Selena. There's no way to treat a fucking lady. Meow. She won't dare come back here. She'll, she'll come straight back here for her pretty little things. And when she does, I want you guys to blow that bitch apart! 
I'm looking forward to it, sir. Good! This is our chance for glory. Word is, Joker's dead. We all... It's the cat! She's here! Kill her! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. This way! <laughs> Selena. She won't dare come back Come on. Choke me with your thighs if you don't mind. Forward to it, sir. Good. This is our chance for glory. Word is Joker's dead. We all saw what happened to the runt that used to run this place. <laughs> we are the future of Arkham. We are the future of Gotham. No one will dare stand up to us. Cut them in two. Is he going to come this way? She's coming. Look everywhere. We'll find her, and when we do, she's dead. What? Don't let her get away! You ain't getting away from me! Grenade! Now we take advantage. You're not getting past all. Help me! 
New plan. We search the room for the bitch. Look everywhere. We'll find her. We do. She's what are you waiting for? Help me! Yeah, bitch! No! Sorry, Harv. This really isn't your night, is it? Now tell me where you've hidden the rest of my stuff, or I'll even out the other side of Got the Got him. <laughs> I only took half. The rest I gave away. I win, bitch! <sighs> Enough with the twos already. <gasps> Good night. It just keeps getting you into trouble. And I think that's the end. Just couldn't keep away, huh? Can't say I blame you. There's still work to do here in Arkham City. Good luck with that. Some enterprising individuals decided to help themselves to my things. I intend to get it all back. So basically now, when I play Arkham City, if I see some cats laying around, I can switch to Catwoman, which is fantastic. One final upgrade for the road. But ladies and gentlemen, that is it for Arkham City's storyline. Now, if we go back to the main menu, so we've got New Game Plus. We've got Catwoman episodes, which we can go back and play her story, just her story again. And we've got Harley Quinn's Revenge. I've never played Harley Quinn's Revenge before, so that could be a little little something we dive into. Let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like to see Harley Quinn's Revenge before we do Batman Arkham Knight. Because that is going to be the next Batman game we play. Whether or not it's the next game we play on Sundays will be put into your hands, but... Now that we've played Arkham Asylum, we've completed Arkham City, Arkham Knight is the final leg of the race, the final, you know, entrant in the Arkham series to date that we need to play. So, it's bittersweet wrapping this one up, but it just means we get to move on to bigger and better things, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me for the final episode. Thank you for following the series from start to finish if you have. If you did enjoy the ride, hit that like button down below, and if you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate it a lot if you hit that subscribe button down below as well. If you've missed any episodes along the journey, there is a playlist linked in the description, and if you want to stay up to date with future uploads, make sure you've got the notification bell enabled, because then you'll hit a little ring-a-ding-ding -ding when something brand new goes down. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.